been talking for the past one minute only to realize that my microphone was off so hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is cheryl and you are watching my life as cheryl if you are new to the channel please do well to hit the subscribe button and leave me your comments i love to read your comments and if you're an oga gang what's up anyways guys so today it's going to be a fun video i was just looking at my old videos and i'm like hmm did i manifest some things in my life okay so for today's video we are going to be reacting to one of my very old videos so if you don't know me i started youtube um in 2019 so it's been four years since my first upload on youtube and i've done so much content sometimes i'm amazed at myself i have decided to react to one of my videos so i'm currently on the on my youtube page i'll just put the thing on the screen so you guys can watch alongside me even though i'm watching here um so let's scroll let's go to oh, this a year ago i have so much content so much so i don't know if you miss me and i haven't uploaded you can always go back and watch my old content it's lit it's lit and you can see me grow and from background noise to now oh, i've grown i've grown a lot so we are going to react to this video okay <laughs> oh my word first of all why was my life a browse so big at the top right I wanted you people to see that the channel is life and browse but it didn't really look good then but then it was great for me i had to do i think this this intro i don't know if i did it myself or i contacted somebody to do it for me so this video is a daddy daughter tag where i asked my dad questions and he would answer i want to see if this still exists I think I did this video on 29th March 2020, so it's been three years. So let's do some updates. Hey guys, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl, and this is Life and Browse. So today I am here with my dad. <laughs> do we look alike? First of all, I was pretty back then, but I still feel like. Okay, so today we are doing the um, daddy daughter tag. So I'll be asking my dad questions about my childhood and first of all, no even I've said first of all like a thousand times, but I'm happy my parents are still alive, honestly, and I'm glad that I did these videos with my parents and uploaded them to YouTube that I'll forever have them because I know they're not going to live forever. So I'm really excited that I did this and my makeup was on point. He's going to answer. Some of them I don't remember. I don't remember much about my childhood, so you guys today you guys will know a little bit about my childhood because it's my life. So, so since it's uh, oh, we all know about corona, so corona, 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 and so I still have this one tell you guys yes, I still have this week. wash your hands regularly, use sanitizer, use the nose mask if you have if you're in a public place, don't wear it in your room. It doesn't solve anything. But if you're in public, use the nose mask. Wash your hands um, all the time. So since my dad is a, is a teacher, professor, educate them on Corona. Like, all right. I don't want to just keep various rooms. Damn. What was I like as a child? That was my first question. What was I like as a child? <laughs> well, you are taking me down memory lane, and it is like. How I'm now going to ask a question on how my last baby was like. Always make things so emotional. As a matter of fact, she was the cool type. I don't know if she took after me. And it is like, um, she, she, she was always uh, around her parents until she started boarding school. And even I then. Was. She had one thing which I, I, I felt so proud of at that time. Uh, <laughs> it was his, uh, his uh, uh, 
sort of a relationship with God. I found it to be so wonderful that my child should be so close to God. And even rising at the university level to be the president of uh, <laughs> that's another question. That's another question. Okay. okay. So I was a counter. I was uh, around counter. my parents yes, a lot. Yes, a lot. Okay. And I liked God. Yes. I loved God. Okay. So question number two. What was the funniest? Okay. So, what was the funniest thing I ever did as a child? <laughs> I know one. So, so let's see. Don't be crazy. I will not. So you, you, you tell me what you do. No, that's not the funniest thing. That you it was like a very good night. <laughs> we were all having fun at the hall. Oh, wow. So you guys hear the, you and the fans you and all that. I didn't have my microphone back there. And it was like all of a sudden. I didn't have microphone back then and all that i didn't have light i think i had light but it was in the afternoon and i was using the light and then it was it started to get hot and so we had to put on the fan and you see the noise in the video first of all shout out to my ogs like people who, who have been watching from this time because you guys your ears have suffered and i'm sorry <laughs> people coming, people coming out of you we all know very unfortunate for your bigger sister. The nose and the mouth was close to the place. And we had to intervene. Oh, wow. that, that, it would have been something else. So we intervened quickly. <laughs> yes, we intervened because the, 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 feces, the feces were almost into the mouth of the bigger sister. In fact, that day, I couldn't help myself. I loved <laughs> and I still love when I remember that day. Anyway, I was a little child. Calm down. I was a very, very small child. <laughs> I'm sure that's what bonded my sister and I for life. <laughs> I, I didn't do it. I, I just, know you did it. You know what? Yes. <laughs> I know you did it. Okay. Question number three. If you had to rename me, hmm. what name would you give me? I, I know have, most parents have like two or three names. And then I have always wanted like a, a local name because even though I have a local name, it wasn't used to call me growing up. Like my sisters have Abba, Efe, AC. Like I didn't have mine. I wasn't being called Adjoa or something at home. So it's the Cheryl that I've been dealing with since. So I've always wanted like a name that people come. So because of that, I'm very attached to pet names. Like when I'm dating you, I have a pet name for you. Like I'm not going to call you by your name like ever. I have a pet name for you unless I'm sad. But I have a pet name for you. So I'm really touchy on that subject. So if you had a chance to be no, no, if you had a chance if to be name me, like by I force, name no, you. no, by force, if government says, everybody should change the name of their children now. Change my name. Don't give me rules. Child. I don't like such things. Okay, so what name do you have? Well, I was giving you a, a, a traditional name. I wanted a traditional I, I still want traditional names. Okay. So what I was giving you a dear pen. Adia Pena. Hey, Adia Pena. Adia Pena is like me. What? Like I would be called Pena. Like what? <laughs> like I would have been so like I would have loved the name so much. I'm sure that my Instagram name would be Miss Pena. <laughs> Adia Pena. That means uh, uh, something that you, you, it's, it's not easily. I mean, you can't come by it. And honestly, that name would have fit me. But yes, yes. Someone like me. I do. Okay. okay. What's this I mean, one? I mean, they are told me back. I'm here for them. Not my mom saying. Hey, but there's no one. I don't. I don't want to come on again.
And that day, in fact, I wore that smile for three days. And because I don't think it's all fathers who have daughters who can mount stages and project themselves to the extent that will be selected among the best. As a matter of fact, the second person on that program. It was and a Coca Cola. So happy I could not keep my teeth in. All right, so it was a Coca Cola program, like it was a math and science, math English and science quiz. I I, rem I really remember it was like Coca Cola when JHS won, I think. So it was just a, me and a group of people that were selected from our school to go and represent our school. So I chose English and someone else chose i chose english and math i contested for english and math i guess and then the other people also chose so yeah and i won what they gave me was like a math set and something at that time was i felt so proud of myself and even though i don't have any pictures from there which is strange i don't know why no one took pictures at the time so because <laughs> I, I was smiling all over and i kept that smile for three days I had distracted from my people like I was so proud of myself. Yes. I think yes. it was for English, math, and science. Yes. I didn't get for. Okay, so I think my my question, I think my the question I asked before he this um, answer he's given you. is, what does it become mm -hmm. if I got like a million dollars? So. Prudent. In using that money, but the core areas that I know you want to invest <laughs> is in one invest and two, being on my own. And I did that on you know, period, I did that on period. <laughs> so I was going to say, I would first buy a house, mm. and if I'll buy two houses, one for my parents, one for me, two, I'll invest some, and three, I'll. That gets married, or I'm not going to marry the person, but I will use that education for marriage. Or uh, maybe so I take education. Okay, yes. I like that. Like yes, because I'm there. Because right now I'm school is if I get it now, there's no need to get paid for that. Okay, yeah, out of it. Okay, so last question. The last question is: Describe my perfect husband. Wow. I'm not going to choose for you. Yes, but you know me, so who do you think will make a perfect husband for you? Okay. A perfect husband. I'm looking at someone not quite tall, but not short, I mean, of medium height. Uh, for you, I think a fair colored person will suit you. Yeah, I hate fair colored boys. And then. And then someone who is also more into education, more well, someone who is aspiring to have as many things as possible. For example, as I do tell you that you should always seek the kingdom of certificates, and all other things will be added on to it. So I, I just hope you get someone who is also like-minded, someone who is also thinking about acquiring. I didn't even certificates. know that. But he after, believes education as well. Like a year Who after this video, that? I would be married. Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> That's weird. The, 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 the afterward, whatever, of the person mm -hmm. I will wish my daughter to have. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to character, mm -hmm. all right? Character, I want someone who will be. Like uh, that, like I was saying, yeah. and uh, added to that will be someone who will not pour cold water on your aspirations. Mm -hmm. That means it will allow you to pursue your personal aspirations because you are not acquiring all that certificate just to be in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And therefore, and also someone who can really trust the spouse. If someone trusts the spouse, House, that is when that person can give this house a free range yeah. to, uh, to, to, to sort of uh, operate. operate. Yeah. So that is the kind of, and someone, a devil, who is 
My word, so guy. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. This is so cute. This is one of the contents that I did back in the days, three years ago. So cute. I look so, so beautiful. That makeup was on point, girl. That makeup was on point. That skin was smooth. The skin was skinning. Oh, my word. Anyways, anyways. I, I just wanted to watch an old video of mine and see how far I've come. And this is great. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. So, I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.